Hey, welcome to Wing Chun Wooden Dummy Training. So we just showed you in the previous lesson how to do the Wing Chun Dummy techniques on the Wing Chun Dummy. And a lot of people say, what is the Wing Chun Dummy training for? So now I'm going to show you the applications of how you actually use it in self-defense and in martial arts. Now the Wing Chun Dummy form is meant to teach you how to recover if you are um, losing or in a bad position. So it's more of a defensive way of training and um, that's what the moves are for. Okay, Silim Tao and Tam Q, those are teaching you how to win and how to attack and how to advance in a fight. So Wing Chun is backwards. You teach you how to win first and then teach you how to defend later and how to, what to do when you're losing. Okay, so the Wing Chun dummy is to teach you how to recover and we're gonna go over step by step, starting from step number one in the 116 moves and then we will go all the way to step number 116. Okay, so stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and then get more lessons for this if you want to get more. So let's continue. So in the first move in the Wing Chun Dummy is the raising of the hand and then doing the grappling, right? So um, this is good when the guy has his hands on the outside, okay? Or he, let's say he's, he has a different lead. So the first move is, is doing this, is to raise your hand and attack while also deflecting off his uh, hand on the outside. So you're going cutting in on the inside, just like the dummy. So here's a dummy arm right here. So you're coming up underneath and you're cutting up like this. Okay. So what happens if you keep extending that is actually deflects his punch outside while you keep the inside line here. Okay. So if a guy has a guard like this, right, um, I can go from the inside and punch up. And what happens is it actually rocks him back too. Because it lifts his, his arm up and see how his body rocks back. Okay. But what I'm not doing is trying to go outside of this and trying to hit it out. Because then I have to do a second movement which is come back in to do an attack. What I'm doing is I'm actually deflecting and attacking at the same time. So I come out in this way. So while my forearm is deflecting his arm upwards, I'm also attacking in a straight line with my punch. Okay. So that's what the first one is. It is, is to slide up, deflect rock him backwards and actually attack at the same time with the same with just one move. So it's very useful. You know, like that. Okay. So this works very well against a guy with a guard like this in your you know regular guard. You make contact here and then you shave it up like that. Okay? If you do a wing chin style, you can kind of go straight in like this. But then the problem with that is if you have a straight arm you can just cut over you. So you do Wing Chun style, if you square on, make sure that your arm is in this angle, kind of weird angle, right? It's kind of like an S, and your knuckle is pointing this way. So you can't do this way. See how my knuckles are pointing there? Now you need to change your knuckles to point this way. What this does is actually deflect this, and at the same time, it will punch straight on. It's a weird angle, it's hard to train, but it works, okay? Now if you're doing it kind of sideways, it's better because now you have your shoulder to protect you. Okay? So when you punch, you have your shoulder to press at you. You have your arm here to deflect this. Whereas Wing Chun style goes straight on, you have to have this angle so that it will keep it up. So there's two ways of doing that. Okay, so that is the application of move number one in the Wing Chun dummy form. Here's application for move number two. So you remember on the Wing Chun dummy, Move number two is you reached up and then you flip and you flip that. So this is a grappling move and what it's used for is let's say on the inside and you got here. The next move is now you can grab the inside of his arm like this, just like the just like in the in the in the move. So let's say you go boom, you hit, and then the second move is you grab here. And look how I sink. Okay? So the sinking does that to his body, see? It makes him lose a little bit of balance kind of shocks his body, okay? So move number one, one, two, okay? One, two. Now, in the dummy, we actually reach in and grab his neck, like this. But, that's just in the dummy. So instead of just grabbing the neck, what you can do is one and two, use this as an attack, okay? So as you're grabbing this, when this come, comes out, this becomes a palm to the chin, right? Or grab, it can be, when you do the touch out and turn, this becomes a punch. Right? So 
you go one, two. So this, now you've got control of this arm, and now you're punching at the same time. All right? So one, so second loop, two. And notice I kind of drop. If you want to, now if you do do a clinch, only works when you're really close. Because right now, I can't even grab his neck. I have to reach all the way behind him to grab his neck. So in the long distance, it's better to just do one, grab here, sink it down this way, and punch like that. Now if I'm, I am closer, let's say he's got his guard a little bit closer, right, and I get myself in this position, just like in the dummy, then I can sneak my hand in between this hand, you see, I can sneak my hand in the inside, go behind his neck, and then now I've got him in a clinch position, like this, okay? And uh, where can you hit him from here? You can either let go of this, the left hand, punch him in the ribs, or a really nice one is just <coughs> headbutt into him, just like that, okay? So if I got a guy's clinch, um, the only thing I'm scared of right now is his headbutt, and possibly he tries to hook around with his hand. I mean, like he does a hook, like that. That's what I'm scared of, right? So um, the most direct line of attack is a headbutt or a knee. Okay. So yeah, it's not in the Wing Chun form, but you know what? This position is perfect for that. Okay, knee or headbutt because it's open in the middle. You got both your hands in the inside of his hands, right? You see, you got his his spine control with the with the clinch. He's gonna try to go around this arm and hook you, okay? Which you can kind of defend with your elbow, you lift it. But instead of doing that, once you get into position, just go ahead and head butt straight into his chin, or just go in toward knee, okay? So, it's a grappling position. So, second, like if you're gonna go for a round, grapple, knee, or head butt, okay? So that's application for number two. He's a big guy, I don't think I'll be able to, pull him down like in the dummy, okay? Big guy like that, I'm not gonna try to pull him down like in the dummy form, okay? But what I can do, I can do is basically pull him into my knee or pull him into a headbutt, okay? Very useful. So that is an application for move number two in the wooden dummy's form. Now application feet, it's uh, not really intended to get into from two and then three, but it doesn't make any sense, okay? It doesn't, a lot of the dummy form doesn't really make sense in the real application. But what you can do is start at three, this is three, right? And then go to four. Start at three, go to four, okay? Start at three, go to four, okay? So what happens, why would you use three? Use three because this is defensive, okay? Ideally, um, if you're here, you would go straight in for to attack. But let's say he hit first. That's why you can end up here. Because this is actually defensive. Because you have your bomb cell, blue cell, right? Okay? So how do you recover from this position? Well, in the Wing Chun dummy form, it's telling you to do a tan cell and pivot and hit low. So that's what the winning dummy form is telling you to do. How to recover in this position? Okay, we bomb in the wrong side. Okay, because in the right side, technically, I want to bomb in this side because I'm safer this way. Because I can lap cell, back this, or lap cell, hit here. Okay, so that's what the rolling bridge exercise is for. We do a lot of that in Wing Chun, right? Rolling bridge, and then do that. Now, so the Wing Chun Tummy teaches us what to do when we bomb on the wrong side. Like this. Okay, because I don't want to lap here because now he's going to punch me with that heart, okay? If I lap here, he's going to punch me with that. That's not very helpful. So what, what the, the dummy form tells us to do is to step, time, and hit, like this. So that's number three and four, right? So he, he, he comes from side, I need to step and then hit on this side, okay? I have to recover. Because if I stay in this, this position, this is very bad for me. He's going to hit me low here. Right? He's gonna hit me low. He's gonna block there, he's gonna hit me low. Very hard for me to block that one. So you see this side. The ball on the wrong side, very bad for me because this is open, and it's very hard for me to block this thing. Okay? So in the Wing Chun dummy form tells us once we hear, drop this, so it protects this, and attack, and now I attack him on this side. Okay? So I like to use the behind because you got a little bit more distance, you've got long arms. And the dummy form it tells you to use the uh, Tan, uh, low dai zhe, which is good too. 
Okay, but since he's further away, I have a little bit more distance with the punch. Okay, so you can alternate punch or Daiji Yang a little bit closer. Okay, so that's the application of number four. Uh, oh no, that's number three. So his punch comes in, and this helps with for, for surprise, right? The guy's coming from, from your side peripheral vision, and then, whoa, that's a very natural reaction. Okay, so the, so the dummy form is teaching you to recover with this, coming in this way. Okay, so that's what the application of number three is. Now, would I want to do this on a proper bomb? If I go bomb here, do I want to go like this? No, because this happens here. Right? If I do this, he's going to punch me here. Okay? So if I bomb the proper side, I want to stay on the outside. This is only works when I prop bomb in the wrong side. Right? I bomb on the wrong side, then that's the recovery for that. Okay? So like I said, wind dummy is to teach you how to recover when you're in a bad position. Okay? So that's technique number three. If you like this lesson, make sure you click the like button and share it with your friends. And also subscribe and click the notification bell for all the latest lessons that are coming out. If you want to continue your training, just click the next video to keep watching.